Tampons are the latest addition to the growing list of out-of-stock items in states all across the country. Supply chain problems have left many shelves sparse and the products have become more expensive, making it equally hard to find affordable alternatives. My colleague Lisa Desjardins looks into what's behind this latest shortage. Overlapping with the ongoing baby formula shortage, Scarcity of some tampon products across the country is driving more consumer frustration. To explain what's happening here, I'm joined by Sharon Turlop of The Wall Street Journal. Sharon, Americans know by now we've had supply chain issues up and down the product line for consumers, but why in particular with tampons? What's going on? Sure. It's a case of there's problems all over and it's, you know, just some of them happen to hit tampons. But part of this is because it's an industry that's dominated by one very large player, Procter & Gamble. They ran into some bumps and then the number two player, Edgewell, had a very specific kind of tampon related supply chain issue. And so all of a sudden there, there are a lot of brands that just aren't available, which, you know, as any, any woman who's used a tampon knows, you, you want your brands and, and what you're comfortable with. Does this have to do with supply coming from outside of the United States of, of what goes into making tampons? Sure. I mean, tampons, they, they seem simple, but they're actually pretty complicated and regulated. They're regulated as a medical device by the FDA, so not anyone can make them. They're made out of what we would call a non-woven, which are sheets that are kind of fused together. So they're a, a, a complicated and pretty high-tech product. So they're the kind of thing that when there's supply chain issues, they're more likely to be affected. Hmm. Now, Walgreens told us in a statement that their pharmacies are, quote, experiencing some temporary brand-specific shortages in certain geographies. So have prices gone up everywhere? And where exactly are there shortages right now? Sure. Prices have gone up everywhere. So every company that makes tampons, all the big companies have raised prices just as part of inflation, supply chain issues. But what we saw in the data is there's regional shortages that you're more severe than others. And a lot of it just has to do with, you know, it can be as specific as to the store or it may be a brand. Um, so it's it's not widespread, but it's widespread enough that it, it seems fairly severe. You know, this is the second major product that we've seen used by women and by anyone who can get pregnant, including transgender and non-binary people. Is it just coincidental, this kind of shortage and baby formula, or is there some sort of lack of priority on these items, or maybe just too few companies that make them? Yeah, I mean, certainly there is, uh, there's the issue of too few companies making these products. Earlier this year, there was an issue of diapers, so I think that even added particularly to parents, of course, you know, not only women, but um, but to parents. Part of it is the nature of the item. It's, as it's an essential item, but unlike medication, it doesn't have the same kind of urgent emergency status that you might see for some others, face masks, vaccines. Um, you know, you have diaper banks, and, and at diaper banks, you can sometimes get tampons, but, but it's not, um, it doesn't have the same kind of urgency that some other essential items might have. I know many people want to know, how long is this going to last? How long are people going to have to juggle, sort of make do, and uh, perhaps not get the products that they need? Sure. And, you know, the companies have said they feel like they're getting closer, the, you know, the, the supply's improving. I think we saw last year a lot, and in a lot of cases, companies predicted an end to shortage, and, and they were wrong. So nobody's going to predict that. But in the last couple of months, supply has improved. And so I think you'll see improvement in the next couple of months barring something unforeseen, which of course is, you know, no, way, no one can bet on that right now. Sharon Turlap of The Wall Street Journal, we appreciate your time. Thank you. Take care.